Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Secret of the Stars. Last time I did that grinding that I needed to do and I bought the equipment that I needed. Eagle armor, uh, magic robes, uh, eagle armor for him, magic robes, and I got red hoods. Yeah, remember those spy eyes? They can drop red hoods and I got two of them, one for Dan, one for Leona. Everybody can equip them. They're very good because they increase your luck as well as your defense. So try your best to get them. I also made my way back to Old Hill because it's changed. It's new now. I guess this guy's been building. Oh, well, good for you. You finally feel like getting up off your ass after all this time and fixing up the town so people don't starve to death. Or, you know die of exposure or something. What is this girl's problem? She's such a bitch! That's just the hospital. I don't care about that. Oh, and that house in the bottom left-hand corner is the um, Castera trading house, so there's nothing really there either. I'm only gonna go inside houses that actually have stuff going on. She's right there! She's perfectly fine! I wonder, if I put Tina in the lead... Will that make any difference to his dialogue whatsoever? No, because this is Secret of the Stars, and God forbid they make any kind of changes whatsoever. You know what, let's actually put Cody, well, no. Uh, I was gonna put Cody there, but then I thought about, like, my muscle memory with the battles and everything, and um, changing it up at this point where Tina is not in second would really screw me up for healing and things like that. Oh, is this like a dance club or something? Hey, get over here. Um, we're not here to dance. Oh, these are the people from War Eyes. We didn't invite anybody from, wow, what the hell's wrong with you? You are spastic, aren't you? Yeah, we didn't invite anybody from War Eyes here, but they just came anyway, I guess. It's kind of cool, kind of different. The kids are being as useless as ever, as you can see, but it's, different. Oh, yeah, this is that super plum kid, the little selfish asshole. I'm probably never gonna use this stupid super plum anyway. Oh. Oh, okay, well, good. I thought he was gonna say the power of anger! But no, that's a different game. It's the power of farming instead. This is a new building. Can't do anything with this yet. But it looks suspiciously like a different building that we saw back in Kodo. This is now the exchange shop with um, the Castera party members, so that's where I have them camped out right now since I was exchanging equipment with them. You're not doing shit, please. Give me a break. Who the hell are you kidding? My god. Oh, this is uh, Dynamite's lab. Hey there. I say, old chap. Uh, sure, yeah, I do need it. What is it? Ooh, a Vita Plum. I have no idea what that does. Oh. Oh, great. Something tells me that the Super Plum heals one person, and the Vita Plum heals everyone in your party, maybe? I don't know. There was nothing in the guide about that, and I had no clue that I was gonna get that, so, huh. Oh, change the music, sure. I don't know, this one. Ooh, that one's really ugly. Eh, whatever. Anyway, you can change the music with that guy. But only when you're talking to him! How crappy is that? Um, uh, I could go back to Decatus and check with that item appraiser and see what the Vita Plum does, but that would entail that I actually care and I would actually use it, which I'm not going to. I don't think... Yeah, okay, this is completely empty. So that's it for Old Hill. Uh, let's see. Let's fly by to... Alizina. There we go. Yeah, before you go into Booth Castle, make sure that you have the best equipment available. It's imperative. And let's just go right on inside. Ooh. Yeah, you can't get those treasures right there yet. You actually have to go inside the castle in order to get them. So let's go towards this little tile thing that we have going on here. Oh, yeah. This is um, using the Fantasy Star 2 
School of Dungeon Design, where you have multi-level dungeons kind of overlapping each other. Except, it seems like it was better done in Fantasy Star 2 because it's really hard to see where you're going in this game. Um, but thankfully, there aren't any grates or anything like that blocking your way, so, I mean, they didn't go full-out Fantasy Star 2 on you, so that's kind of nice. Ooh, we get a whiz robe. Let me see if that's any better than the Madge robe. Oh, it is. Huh. Okay, go ahead and stick that on him. Why not? Yeah, again, more crap to pass down to the Casteras. I really don't mind buying that, or buying, yeah, that magical robe there for Dan, even though it was pretty much useless, because... I need to outfit the Casteras anyway. And believe me, they're only getting hand-me-downs. Here we have the gold Mo. Um, let's see what I want to do. You know what? There's some more combination magic that I could use. Freeze 2 combined with Storm 2 should give me another combination. So make sure whenever you use that that you hit combination, highlight both their names, and then hit OK. The gold Mo's have 195 HP. They can summon bolts, um, and they can also drop iron suits if you really care about that. It's there, it's something. Ooh! Yeah, not half bad. Oh great, you're gonna create bolts on me. Lovely. I should probably use Dan's Regain since he's- oh wow, yeah, I really, really should use Dan's Regain. Let's do that. Although he's very slow. He actually got level 2 in Regain. Whoa! He went last, last turn, and now he's going first this turn? Ooh, wow. Oh, I was gonna say, is it like a total heal all? Man, seemed that way. Woohoo! Yeah, remember whenever I said whenever you're fighting robots that that gun would come in handy? Well, now we're fighting robots. Did you notice how all of Ray's hits were critical hits? That's why that gun comes in so handy when we're fighting robots. Okay, so moving right along. Let's see where I want to go to now. Uh, we went that way, we got the wizard's robe, so there was a path here to the left that we didn't go up, so I want to do that now. Make sure that you're keeping your HP up. I would recommend healing with Tina and then Dan, and try to keep everybody's MP roughly equal. Um... That's why I wouldn't recommend healing with Ray, because his MP is rather low to begin with, and I, again, want to keep everybody somewhat equal, because, of course, we have a boss fight, and, of course, using magic is the way to go against said boss, so everybody needs to be able to contribute um, in that fight. You could use moon drops and broken um, moons and things like that now, since we have plenty of them. I should probably keep some of those in my inventory, Although, well, I just got a moon drop in the treasure chest, so I, I actually have one in, in uh, inventory, so, you know, not too bad. Okay, we've made it to the second floor. Which looks suspiciously like the first. Oh, you know what? Let's use another combination magic with fire level 1 and freeze level 1. And then we'll just have the rest of the guys attack um, and then combine those two. There we go. And let's see what that can... Um, can produce. The Vampire has 132 HP. It does nothing else special at all. Yeah, that's completely useless. <laughs> like I said, some combination magic is better than others. Reminds me of, uh, what was it, Antipode from Chrono Trigger? Whenever you combined Marl's and um, Luca's magic? I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Hmm, did I go the right way? There's a treasure that way. Hmm, I'm kind of confused. I hate this place. I really, really hate this place. Oh yeah, I didn't go the right way. Damn it. Okay, let me go back and get that treasure chest. So the path to get there should be right over here. Yeah, it's it, the thing is, it's 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 really hard to see where the path to get this treasure chest is. It, it just sucks. All that for a mirror. Thanks. Just thanks. Okay, so now what I want to do is just head out over here. Yeah, we're back to that little um, teleporter that we saw earlier. And fall to our doom! 
Ah, uh, but we do get some treasure! The Mighty Fire Sword! Yeah, this thing's amazing! Let's see, we'll go ahead and stick that on Cody. Where is it? There we go. It lowers his power, but it's very good for combination attacks. So what I'm probably going to do is just save it for boss fights. So we'll just keep that in the inventory for right now. And in the true bastard move, it kicks you out. I'm going to meet you back in there. I'm back. If you head over to the right there, you'll fall out of the castle, so don't do that. Instead, go up this little teleporter that I accidentally went up earlier. And then we'll head over to the right, and there should be a treasure right over here. With the fire armor inside. Let's see if that's any better than the eagle armor. Ooh, that really is. Yeah, so eagle armor will be yet another hand-me-down for the Castera, which is actually getting shockingly nice equipment, I must say. So, moving and grooving right along, we're up to the third floor at this point. And let's see, ugh, god, it just gets worse. You can't see Jack, it just sucks. Anyway, what you want to do is just head straight down to fall to your doom! Yet again. Great game, great. But, we get the mighty Red Hood! And let's see, uh, we'll give that to Leon. Oh no, Leon already has one, Dan already has one. We'll give it to Tina. Okay, there we go. That way I have three red hoods now. Yeah, so you can see that it raises her defense not by a whole hell of a lot, but her luck, 14 points. Very nice. Can I just go right? I can't. You could go to the inn, but I'm actually doing good on MP right now, so I'm fine. So I need to head back to the third floor. I'm back at the entrance of the third floor of this godforsaken hellhole. Oh, I hate it so much. Anyway, let's go over here for some... Really? Oh, do I have to go down and then over? Okay, yeah. Over here for some treasure. 10,000 gold! That would have done me pretty well back whenever I was grinding for equipment. Thanks, game, for giving it to me just a tad bit too late. And then a hidden passage over here. Okay, here we have the Vambats. And there's another combination magic that we can use with fire level 1. You just attack, uh, you want to use storm level 1. And you can attack as well, whatever. Combine Ray and Cody. There we are. And that should be... I think that that's the last combination magic that I can actually use right now that's actually useful. There's some other stuff, but it's completely useless. Like, making enemies not, um summon help or something. Did that stuff not combine? Did that seriously not combine? Did it hit the wrong buttons? Uh, I'll give it a shot again. I'm pretty sure that that, that could... You know what? Maybe it's because they targeted different enemies. I don't know. Let's see. Let's try that again. Combine Ray, Cody. Okay. Please work this time! By the way, these Vambats... Oh, perfect! It did work have 110 HP, and they're completely vanilla. Don't worry about them. There we go. Much better whenever things actually work out the way that I want them to. You know, what a concept that is. There's actually another enemy in here. If we don't get to it, um, let's see what this is. Oh, perfect! We got to both of them! Even better! Uh, you know what? But these guys are a pain in the ass. Let's, uh, use... What do I want to use? We'll use, uh, yeah, we'll use... Mm, no, you'll, you'll... God, what do I want to do? I'm going to have you attack. I'm going to have you use Freeze 2. You use Storm 2. You attack, and you use Bomb. Okay, so here's the deal. The Ghosts have 170 HP. They're a pain in the ass because they use Vanish 2. And remember, the Vanish spells are instant death. But Vanish 2 has... A really high, it has like a 40% chance of probability of working. Did I not? Oh man, I forgot to combine! Damn it! Ugh, this is another reason why I hate combination magic. Ugh, god. Anyway, that gas lag though, that's really what you want. That gas lag has 143 HP, but it can drop the best claw, which, as you might think, is the best claw for Leona. The best weapon in the game for her. So yeah, do try your best to uh, get your hands on that. Let's see, let's try this again. Combine these two. 
Good God. Probably don't even need to do it now. Probably just gonna waste all my MP at this point. Oh, perfect. It didn't do it. Didn't do it twice. The first time I was pissed, the second time I was actually kind of happy. Gotta say. Okay. Let's see. Let me just check my HP. Um, let me do a quick... Yeah, let's have you use just yeah, this. That should be plenty. Um, you know what? It's really Ray who needs some healing. Okay, there we go. And just head on up these stairs. Oh, clouds. How are there clouds inside of a castle? Makes no sense. Uh-oh. Yikes! For boss time! Against Booth, one of the four fiends of Homnicruz. And I don't even know if we fought other fiends, because I thought that we did, but we didn't. But anyway, we're going to take him out next time on Let's Play Secret of the Stars. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.